Well, Dan, Dames and Kongi, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Oscar Spriede. When we are starting this uh, very nice, a little bit cold ceremony of the time capsule, which is a, I think, a fundamental tradition in any construction, and of course also in this large-scale construction. Um, today we are all here in Riga, and uh, thank you for those who just came in by the train. It was uh, we had a sneak peek view here uh, through the fence, and it was uh, looked very nice. So we are uh, at the upcoming Rail Baltica Riga Central Hub, uh, both in person and remotely. Uh, so hello for those who are watching, who are watching us on uh, different platforms, including Facebook. Um, it's a pleasure to welcome our honorary guests, the ministers for transport industry in Baltic countries and also the representatives uh, from European Commission. And also uh, greetings to uh, our uh, uh, media partners and all the spectators today. In order to uh, have this event held in accordance with all the safety requirements, so please do not wander around uh, in construction site. Um, I don't think there's much to see anyways, but uh, please don't do that. Uh, you always, while being on site, have to wear the safety elements, uh, like these vests and helmets. So please uh, consider this. Uh, the um, responsible person for the safety here on this site is the Berrix Quality Health, Safety and Environment Manager, Joel Silva. So that's uh, the, the formal part here. So at the moment, uh, we are all on the construction site, and although it doesn't look like very much, actually the works have been going on for almost a year now. And in a few years from this moment, uh, we will have the magnif magnificent Riga Central Station here. And uh, as I mentioned, about a year ago, work started, and uh, there were two parts, underground part, which is not that visible, but loads of different uh, communication things done, for example, telecommunication cables in total length of two and a half uh, kilometers. Um, above the ground, uh, the uh, future embankment uh, has been created and the, the less needed part has been excavated. And uh, thanks to this uh, Rail Baltica project in general, Riga will uh, change a lot in future. The ways we see different parts of Riga that we didn't see before will be now become visible. And uh, city residents and also guests, of course, will be offered um, uh, not only a modern, sustainable and a comfy uh, station, but also a very accessible station uh, for all groups of our society. Um, also, this central uh, hub of Riga will become a lot greener, uh, a hectare uh, greener than it was before, thanks to a well-thought well uh, landscaping plan. So implementation of this project is something that uh, the city, the country, and I think the whole region is looking forward to. And uh, now I would like to uh, uh, invite to the stage the representative of the builder, uh, the uh, Bererix. And the, it will be represented by Matthew Deschamps, the chairman of Bererix Joint Venture Committee. So please, the floor is yours. Their ministers Linkates, their minister As, their ministers Kudis, Excellencies, their representatives of the European institutions, their guests, welcome at the Rail Baltica Riga Central UP construction site. I am honored to welcome you on behalf of Riri Rix, a partnership made of European leaders in the construction business. Companies B6 from Belgium, Rizzani di Ecker from Italy, and Rere Gruppa from Latvia. We brought our experience and expertise here to build the largest infrastructure project in Riga, in Latvia, and this for many decades, and to make a vision of Rail Baltica, 
linking nations, linking people, linking places, a reality today. Our job here is to design and build the Rail Baltica Riga Central, part of a significant and complex infrastructure project that has to be functional, safe, and efficient for at least one century. At the end of the construction works, it should be on the European map amongst the best organized railway transport and mobility up. As already mentioned, it's been almost a year since the construction war started. And thanks to mention several times that we don't see anything. During this year, we have started annoying the citizens of Riga with construction and underground, so invisible works in the streets and on the tracks. It's unfortunate, but it's too often the price to pay. We will do our best to limit the inconvenience in the months and years to come. This year has been important in the development of the project in Riga, since major planning and design works have been carried out. We have been coordinating the requirements of more than 30 different stakeholders and NGOs. Before the end of the year, 2021, and I hope before my birthday also, foundation works of the new station building will start. We will place the capsule with the message for the next generation in the foundations of this building. Thank you very much for joining us today in creating this message. Thank you all for being here today with us in the European Year of Rail Event in Riga. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Um, so it was already mentioned the time capsule. It's uh, quite solid as the upcoming uh, uh, transportation hub. I'm not even saying it's a building. It's something more than that, I believe. And I'm always thinking about these capsules. Uh, do we really want somebody to find them? Which means that the building is gone and something like that. I hope not. But anyways, it's a nice tradition and we have six parties uh, today who will uh, leave their message in the, in the, not in the bottle, but in the capsule. So three ministers uh, that I mentioned already before, also uh, the representative from the European Commission and representatives from RB Rail and uh, Aerop Zelsedlinis. So uh, they will have their messages uh, both spoken and written. So as the first uh, on the stage from the messengers, I am asking uh, Mr. Talas Linkets, who is the Minister of Transport of Latvia. So please, the floor is yours. Hello everyone, and uh, first of all, welcome those traveling by train. Uh, welcome to Latvia and welcome to Riga. Uh, it's a nice occasion to be here today and uh, to uh, create uh, this uh, time capsule. Uh, in Latvia, we know that we uh, build this uh, railway line, Rail Baltica infrastructure, not only for our generation, for, but for the generations to come. And therefore, we have to uh, do this job with uh, care and uh, thinking about sustainability and about uh, our next generations. Um, this Riga railway station will be not only the station, it will be meeting place of uh, uh, different modes of transport, uh, uh, different uh, people from different countries. I believe this station will bring us closer to our neighboring countries uh, to be an inspiration to visit, for foreigners to visit Latvia, visit Riga and travel further. So, uh, without uh, more uh, sentences, uh, I would like to um, fill the capsule with the uh, photo of uh, our uh, construction site 
and uh, also with one element of uh, uh, old uh, Soviet style uh, electric trains. Uh, mm. I hope it will also be the past very soon. Right. And uh, so please stay here because we'll also have the uh, more formal uh, message signed by all the three ministers. And uh, therefore, I'm welcoming on the stage next minister uh, from Lithuania, Minister of Transport and Communications, uh, Marius Skoris. Please. Yes, it's okay to applaud uh, in these awkward moments. It's, it's Thank you. Dear colleagues, guests, Dallas, it's a great, great honor and pleasure to participate here. Because when we are talking about Rail Baltica, it's about design, territorial planning. And here, this is that moment where words turn into very concrete and visible deeds. So congratulations on behalf of all my team and actually from Lithuanians to Latvian colleagues on what you are doing here. From our side, we are already moving with the European standard rain, uh, rail, which will connect Kaunas, middle of Lithuania, with Latvian rail. And from our discussions, if I could reveal, I heard promise that you will move with the European standard track from Riga to Lithuanian border. So I very much hope that in 2026, 27, we will be able to travel on Rail Baltica to Riga, and it will take much, much less than to drive by car. So congratulations on what you are doing here. And to commemorate this occasion, we will put into this solid box a document about today's trip connecting three Baltic capitals. It's a document which is sent by railways to other countries and different institutions with certain I don't know, details about travel, speeds, times, and everything. Mm. So congratulations, and Thank looking you. forward to arriving to the new building here. Thank you. Um, all right, and the stage is a bit magic. Once you get on it, you, you're not allowed to get off it, so uh, please stay. All right, and uh, the minister from uh, Estonia. And he's the Minister of uh, Economic Affairs and Infrastructure, Tavi As. Please. So, <coughs> dear colleagues, uh, ladies and gentlemen, for me it's also a big honor to be here with you today uh, to be put these uh, uh, documents to this uh, time capsule. In Estonia, we already finished the first object of uh, rail politics. Uh, and I wish uh, to my colleague that uh, also here, it's this object will be ready on time and uh, uh, in best possible way to be in, in the use of uh, uh, use of, uh, of the uh, people traveling by rail politics. So everything good for the constructors. And uh, for our side in Estonia, we have a tradition to put to time capsule this day's newspapers. So uh, I put to the capsule today's newspaper.
Now I see that we have a lot of things in the capsule and I'm just wondering, do we have any space left? And well, we'll squeeze in anyways. According to my scenario, you now sign the, the message uh, for upcoming generations. So please. All right. Yeah, it's a bit cold here, so it's. Uh, that's why they use uh, pencils in space. Um, I, I think, yeah, let's redo it. Okay. All right, now it's done. And the last one. Great. All right, gentlemen, please stay here. We have a few more speakers here. So uh, now I'd like to welcome on stage a very... Uh, a uh, significant stakeholder in this project, uh, the European Commission's Director General for Mobility and Transport, Mr. Henrik Hololei. Thank you very much, and um, what a great pleasure to, uh, to be here today um, at this uh, very um, important occasion for the um, European Commission, Rail Baltica has been, is, and <coughs> equally will be a very, very important infrastructure project. It is a project uh, which uh, promotes sustainable mobility, links Europe together with its um, Baltic neighbors through rail transport and also contributes significantly to connectivity, to making also possible for people to move around better, faster, in a more convenient way. For us, this is one project which goes through three Baltic states, engages Finland, Poland. So if there are positive developments in one of the three countries, it means they are positive development for the project as a whole. Also, on our way here from uh, the Latvian border to Riga, we were discussing with colleagues about the role of the railway stations in the um, in Rail Baltica uh, line. And when I look at this uh, wonderful picture, it only confirms what we talked about, namely that uh, this project is so important that it, it, it deserves best. It deserves also most beautiful railway stations, most functional railway stations, and railway stations which are not railway stations, but actually multimodal hubs which bring together also people and businesses. I see that the important step to that direction today is done in Riga. Congratulations for that, and it's really an honor and a pleasure to be here to represent European Commission. As the time capsule is quite full, I will only leave a very small message from the European Commission to the future generations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. All right, uh, the, the train leaves soon, actually. We have to be very quick. Uh, next speaker is Agnes Drixner from uh, RB Rail. He's the chairman of the board here. Hello, good afternoon. Indeed, with a project and with a train, we are always on the tight time schedule and have to be uh, in a place. So from my side, I would like to recognize one thing, that in order for the project to be successful across three Baltic countries, we need to share the same values among ourselves. We need to be responsible for the same mission. And at the end of the day, we need to follow the standards for the railway interoperability and connectivity between the people and nations. So from Airbnb Rail side, I will put in the capsule two things. One is our motto, and of course the second one is a design guidelines for a Rail Baltica project. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> and uh, our last speaker, Kaspar Svingris from uh, Aeropos Zalcedelinius. Good evening, everyone. Indeed, it's a great honor and pleasure um, to take this opportunity where this uh, so important uh, and strategic 
uh, railway connection uh, to, Europea to European Union is taking shape. It wouldn't be possible, of course, without support uh, from European Commission, from CINEA, from, from Latvian state. And finally, our plans, our dreams is becoming reality in this construction side. Uh, we are finally constructing this multimodal transportation hub, which will be a crucial part of uh, Rail Baltica infrastructure. Uh, so today we exchanged several times with Flex, but I leave my flag here in this time capsule. All right. So uh, hopefully there's uh, still enough space for the message from ministers. Well, can it be within the photo is okay? Like two in one? All right. Next generation. Yes, so the next generations will struggle with this one, I believe. All right, uh, Matthew, where are you? Um, please come uh, formally, officially close the time capsule if you can and uh, give it to the minister Linkites since the foundation uh, will be laid uh, in about two months from now. So the minister would, uh, meanwhile, be responsible for this precious thing. As I've heard, there was an invitation uh, to lay it down in November, hopefully, before your birthday, is that correct? All right. Great. All right. Uh, it's time for photo now. Yeah, please regulate. The, 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 yeah, yeah. Come, come in front of the stage so that the table is not blocking you in some uh, way. And now, uh, just just a sec, extended the, uh, yeah, all right, another one, more friendly. I think it's okay to touch somebody, right? If it's outdoors, it doesn't count, right? Okay, and then the extended uh, members, I mean, of the project, if those who feel relevant for the picture, obviously can come in, European Commission representatives, others, yeah. Well, an extended team. Okay. Just a little information for for the others. Uh, the, tra the, the people would be leaving for train in about 15 minutes, so it's not uh, that much time. So media uh, people, you can uh, prepare your questions and uh, ask them to corresponding um, representatives, if you will. The Radkart was very Latvijas, the media was very important to do the Ierdās vilcieni brauc tālāk, jau pēc 15 minūtēm, tā kā esiet žigli, lakoniski, un viss izdosies. Muzika